Right, so guys, if you can see, as you can see uh, on screen, we are now talking about how the player grades work, as the player grades will be active about an hour after this video goes live. So, at the moment, as you can see, I'm in the overworld, um, in chat, the player graves has appeared uh, in the Minecraft chat. When you get the player grave, it will appear like that with the person's name above it, who died. So, it's easier, and as you can see there, it comes up in chat with the coordinates and what dimension you were in. Um, next, we're going to be talking about how the um, player graves interact with when you die in lava. So as you can see, I jump straight into lava, and when I die, the play grave is there. One bad thing is the items don't get put straight into your inventory. So that means that you have to build around the play grave underneath, and if you are near lava, be careful, build around you maybe. But they don't get put straight into inventory, so you will have to build quite a lot around it, just to make sure your items don't burn. So, once again, it appears in chat, and it says on the chat what dimension you died in. So, if you didn't know what dimension you were in, you now know. Now, we're going to be talking about what happens when you die in the void. So, if you die in the void, uh, as you can see, your player grave will actually spawn at the lowest block in the um, net end. So, it will spawn always at level 1 on the block that you died. So once again, you will have to build down to it, build around it, so no items fall into the void. Because if you click on it, it will not put the items into your inventory. So that is how the player grades work. If you have any more questions, contact me, a mod, or a helper. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my channel. We are back in the 1.16 Survival Realm. And today, we are going to be building a shop, or I've already started to build it. And um, we're going to be decorating where we actually sell the items now, as you can see. It is a lantern. It's not that good. I can probably change it up to make it look a little bit better. Um, which I probably will. I need one lantern to go there. Or a sea lantern. But we're going to be obviously selling light sources in here. We're going to be selling I think 11 or 12 different light sources. Um, but yeah. I built. I was going to build a normal lantern. But then I thought why not build a soul lantern. So let's now. As you can see there's a soul lantern. Um, let's now head down here. And... Um, decorate this bottom room. Uh, so I need them as well. Right, so, um, one, two. There needs to be bone blocks. And then I want that there like that. Uh, the same thing along here. Um, yeah. And then uh, once we've built the shop, we are going to be going over to a bastion to build a farm, uh, that I had a tutorial put out yesterday for. Um, so if you want to build, um, it's going to be a magma farm. If you guys want to build it, um, the best thing to do is go check out that tutorial. Um, I'll put it an I card in the top of the screen now if I remember. So let's quickly just put another one of these here. Um, and then once again put the blackstone bricks going all the way along like so. There we go, right. Now if I've done this correctly... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, right, so we need to take this wall back one. Um, this needs to go here. Perfect. And that should now be right. Um, two there, two there with six in the middle. Yes, and then we need to do exactly the same on this wall. So this being here. And then, um, two there with six in the middle. So, two there. Perfect. Six in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then another two on the edge. And I don't even think I need to build this that tall. I'm pretty sure uh, this is too tall now. Um, I may be wrong. Um, so, the barrels will go here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then these two need to be... Uh, once again, uh, blackstone. Oops, wrong block. So, blackstone. Perfect. That is now done. So, we'll put the barrels here. And then this back wall, uh, that needs to go there. This back wall now needs to be um, blackstone again. So, in this shop, we are going to be selling lanterns, um, soul lanterns, torches, soul torches, campfires, soul campfires. Um, that is, what, six? 
Then we are going to be selling glowstone, um, end rods, uh, glowstone, end rods, sea lanterns, shroom lights, and I'm not sure what other ones I've missed. Right, let's put that needs to go there. Perfect. And then we need to break this for what one have I missed? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a few that I've missed. Um, I'll remember them in a minute. So yeah, this floor now needs to be um warped wood. Um, I've said um so many times. Right, yeah, it needs to be warped wood. So let's just mine all this so then we can fill it all in. Right, so guys, I've now filled in all that. Let's quickly just get some of these soul um lanterns and put them down. Just so it's not completely dark in here. And maybe the torch as well. So what we need to do now is put some of these here. Um, yeah, and then I need to also break, put them two down. Uh, break these and put them as them. Then I need to pick these up. And these need to go over here because I'm pretty sure I've run out. One, two. Perfect. So this room is now done. Let's now go get some barrels and some signs. So we can actually label what we are selling. Because I have completely forgot. Um, what wood? Let's go get some birch wood. I think that's the best because it's light. Uh, and down there it's quite dark. So somewhere here there should be some birch trees. That we can destroy. Here's one. Let's quickly break this tree down. And then we can go over there and break that. So yeah I know there's... Both normal and soul fire, uh, torches, lanterns, and campfires. Uh, then what else is there? Um, there's glowstone, shroom lights, sea lanterns. I know there's stuff like uh, enchantment tables and all that that give off light, but we're not going to be using them uh, or selling them because they're not really light sources. They're more of uh, things that just give light, uh, give light off. So let's quickly just make a crafting table and then we can make some signs so we can price up some of this stuff. Right, so guys, I have done some of the prices. Uh, torches are one diamond for two stacks, same as soul torches. Lanterns are then one diamond for 32. Um, same with soul lanterns. They might change that because I don't know how easy it is gonna, to craft 32 uh, of them. Uh, campfires are then one diamond for 16, the same as camp, uh, soul campfires. Um, glowstone is one diamond for 16, sea lanterns is one diamond for 16, shroom lights is one diamond for 16, end rods is one diamond for one stack, jack o' lanterns is one diamond for 16, and chains I've decided to sell because they're not a light source but they go well with the light sources. So, and they're one diamond for 64, that price might change to one diamond for 32. Um, once again, these prices are only testing prices to see how well they sell, um, if they sell too good, or st and stuff like that. So, this shop is now ready to open. The only thing I need to do is stock it. And stocking it is going to be a pain. So we're going to leave it as stocking it till later on. Um, probably I'll do it off camera. And by next episode it should be stocked. Or maybe the end of this episode. So now let's head on over to a bastion. To build this magma cream farm. Right so guys. Change of plan. Uh, I said that we were going to go and build a magma farm. Well I've spent the last 6 plus hours. Building that, and you may be thinking, what is that? It looks like just loads of redstone put together. Well, it is a um, never uh, fungi tree farm. It grows the warped wood. We can change it to uh, do crimson, but it will be so hard uh, because we have to get inside of the farm and change the uh, warp nylium for crimson nylium and all that. But yeah, it works. And I spent the last six hours building this block for block to make sure it works. And luckily I got it first try. So if I quickly just move this bone mill. Um, I won't have to do this every time. It's just because the, bone, uh, the farm needs to be running for the bone mill to move. And uh, let's just break, kill all these mobs. There we go. Kill him. Right. So let's turn the farm on. And if I go up here. And I can show you guys how it works. Or roughly how it works. So there is a dispenser bone meaning nylium, um, roughly there underground. Um, it blows the nylium, uh, bone mills uh, nylium to get uh, fungi. Uh, it will then bone mill the fungi to grow trees. When it grows the trees, it activates this circuit, which then activates these TNT dupers that will go down and break the tree. 
Sometimes they do get leftover blocks up here, but that don't matter. Um, if I wanted to, I can remove them every time I finish using the farm. But as you can see, the TNT just drops down, breaks the TNT. It then goes into hoppers, uh, waterlogged slabs. So if the TNT goes too low down, it don't actually destroy the uh, platform. Then crying obsidian, because that's blast proof, uh, stops any explosions from going outside of it. And then it gets picked up by hoppers that are under all there, uh, which then lead it into these uh, collection systems. Which I have got a collection system. Let me turn the uh, farm off because this farm, literally, it I can't break it. If it breaks, I am going to be spending hours trying to fix it. And when I say hours, I mean literal hours. Um, because if one block breaks, then most of the farm will break. Um, when I was building it, I broke one block. I forgot to put rails at the bottom. I broke one block, and when I broke that one block, um, I broke one of them honey blocks, and when I broke one of them honey blocks, literally the whole of this area broke. So I've got to be careful um, with what gets done with this farm. But we built it on this little mountain because it was quite a flat area, so I didn't have to do much digging. But I've got item filters for the wood, and also shroom lights, because once again, we're only getting this wood because we need a lot of wood for our light shop that we built in the beginning of this video and shroom lights we can also sell in um the shop but i did not know shroom lights can actually be composted as you just saw so that is a good thing um and if we go here as you can see we've got 41 shroom lights there and we've got lots and lots of wood which we can start stocking up the shop uh once again we've got 49 shroom lights there and lots of wood so Let's take some of this wood, um, three stacks there. I'm going to AFK it this overnight. Um, hopefully, if not by next episode, by the episode after that. And let, we're going to see how much we can get. Let me make sure the farm is off. Um, yes, it is. Because if I unload the chunks while the farm's on, uh, it's going to break. And that is the one thing I'm worried about, that farm. Because if it breaks... Uh, it's going to be very hard to fix. So let's quickly head to the shopping district. Um, actually, no, I need to head back through because I actually need to get um, something. So we now have farms for uh, glowstone we can get from the barter farm. Shroom lights we can get from that. Uh, torches and all that. So the only thing we need uh, thingies for now is... Um, let's take all these, all these sticks. Let's ditch some of this. Uh, let's also take, I'm pretty sure I ditched some campfires in one of these. We can take them chains. Um, there we go, campfires there. So then let's take, uh, what shulker box was it? This shulker box. So, yeah. Um, we now need an, a way to f uh, get in infinite end rods. And we also need a way to get infinite, um, sea lanterns. And jack o' lantern, so a pumpkin farm would be good uh, soon as well. So let's quickly head to the light shop and let's um, go and see what stock we can get in there. Right, so guys, we're going to head back to the shopping district now. And um, some of you may be saying when 1.16.2 drops, which should be uh, probably not this week, it'll probably be next week or the week after. It might be this week, but it'll be at least. Between uh, today, when this video goes up, and about two to three weeks' time, as they're now in pre release phases. But um, when they. Oh my god, there are loads of iron golems up there. Um, when they uh, the pre releases dropped, um, they said that. Uh, what's it called? Um, what, uh, I don't know what I'm on about. Um, they. Uh, Said uh, piglings won't will no longer trade. Uh, what's it called? Glowstone. So if piglings no longer trade glowstone, we ha still have a source of getting glowstone glowstone from the uh, witch farm. So uh, that won't matter. But I did bring a stack of glowstone. How much are we doing glowstone for? One diamond for sixteen. That's fair enough. Um, shroom lights are also one diamond for sixteen. So we can fill this up with some. Um, 15, 16. 
There we go. They are from our tree farm. I'm going to AFK that. Uh, uh, I can't speak today. I'm going to AFK at that overnight to get loads. Um, same with uh, the wood. So we can make loads of campfires, sticks for torches. Also sticks for lanterns. There is literally so much we need. Uh, stick wise. Uh, let's put some on there. To make them 16. Right, so now let's carry on crafting some, uh, what are they called? Some campfires. So let's make some sticks, campfires. And it don't make sense how you can make campfires with these logs. Because they can't be burned, but it's good that they can be made with them logs. I'm not complaining. Um, right, so campfire. We can then fill this up again, like so. And then we have three left over. And we have actually run completely out of logs now. So, can I make any more campfires at all? No. Okay, right. So, that's that done. So, what do we actually need now? That, I can put them in there. Now, that is completely stocked. That is completely... What I'm going to do, I am actually going to... Do I still have the redstone on me? No, I'm not. I'm probably going to put lights above these so we can see when they're stocked or not. Um, But then that does mean filtering the... Uh, diamonds out uh, Okay, we won't do that for now So uh, let's uh, now I can put some more chains in uh, 20 32 we need there we go. So that's two lines of chains now stocked uh, That's all done and um, we have a lot of torches still we'll put them in a uh, stock room um, Right, so that's done that's stocked that is stocked that isn't stocked yet and then it's just campfires on this side. Right, so guys, let's now quickly just stock this up a little bit more. Right, we need two more stacks in here, which I might be able to make. So that's 32 uh, lanterns. That is 32. We can make 16. Okay, so let's put them in there. So we need one more slot. So we're getting there with a stock. Um, it is literally just this side now that is uh, not nowhere near stocked. Uh, that's stocked, that's stocked, that's stocked. We need 16 more there. We need a lot more camp uh, normal campfires and we need just a little bit more uh, soul campfires. So I'm going to AFK at my tree farm. Currently for me it is, oops didn't mean to do that, it is 4 o'clock in the morning um, as of recording this video. So it won't be tonight that I AFK, it'll be tomorrow night. Um, so yeah. Um, as I didn't get the farm built till uh, about now. Someone has took wool without paying. Yeah, someone has because that was a lot stocked a lot more than that. Right, so. Yeah, so we now basically just need to AFK the uh, wool farm. Not the wool farm, the wood farm to get wood. Uh, glowstone and all that we can do another time. Uh, so... That is the light shop coming together. But if you do want to build that wood farm, I will leave a link to it in the description. Um, I'm pretty sure it's designed by Way Rayworks or someone. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys want to build it. But that is going to be the end of this episode. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and subscribe. And I'm sorry that I couldn't speak in this episode and I kept saying um. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.